Today we're going to space with the Agravity Boys. Hey everybody, welcome back to another installment of A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and yeah, I am trying to cover all the manga that I've missed over the past few months, and here we are with A Gravity Boys, the latest Shonen Jump comedy series written and illustrated by Atsushi Nakamura. So at the start of the series, it is the year 2118, and as part of Project Hermes, these four boys, or I should say young men, are tasked with a very important mission to find a sustainable planet. We don't really know what is happening with Earth, but, you know, tropes uh, indicate that it's probably not in the best shapes and we're trying to look for another hospitable planet, right? So as our crew is leaving Earth for Alpha Jumbro, they encounter an unexpected black hole. This black hole sucks them in and they are thrown into orbit of that planet and as a result, I guess destroying the Earth in the process and the black hole just swallowed everything up, right? So now our four protagonists are stranded, stuck, and could quite possibly be the last remaining hope for humanity as the last survivors are stuck in this hospitable planet called Alpha Jumbro. So that, in a nutshell, is the plot. It's a very simple, straightforward plot. You have these four characters that have a very tight bromance, and just uh, they're just best friends, and that is evident as you keep reading the series. It's very comedic in nature. There are a lot of lowbrow humor. There's a lot of space jokes and references to other sci-fi gimmicks. And overall, it's just a happy, fun time. Yes, the premise isn't necessarily the happiest, but you have a good time reading about these characters bonding over a dire situation and how they're gonna pull it off. Most of the chapters that you're reading are basically episodic adventures in this new setting that they're on, you know, encountering a possible alien species. Uh, one of the characters gets sick, so how do they resolve things? They also have the weird presence of a higher being which they nicknamed HB and whenever HB comes around uh, it's this higher dimensional being we don't know the face I'm not gonna reveal anything for you guys but we don't really know the face all we know is that the character is offering items that could facilitate their lives a little bit better and it often leads to some hilarious results like for example one of the items can turn one of the men into uh, a woman and basically gender swap and <laughs> kickstart the population I guess but as a result they remain uh, who they are but uh, their past gets rewritten so it, it often leads to some uh, brotastic uh, dialogue between the four and they all each have very unique voices so you got Saga who's this hotshot young kid who's very athletic you have uh, Chris, who everybody confuses for a girl because he's so pretty looking. You also have Baba, who is the engineer of the group and one of the strongest members there, and has a tendency to lose his clothing for, from time to time, and is sort of the weak-minded one of the four. You've got one of the smartest men in the world, Geralt, and his eccentricities are hilarious and are often the source of many of the chapters and butt of the jokes as he for example tries to name the the planet and uh, alpha jump bro I, i'm hoping i said that right and the area that they landed on he's trying to name it as new Geralt city which obviously the other characters are opposed to and it leads to some hilarious banter one of the things the series is really good at is its comedic timing a lot of the times you'll have a very silly moment a silly premise but you enjoy it and you have a good time because of that timing and the jokes and the way the characters interact you know there's a previous history and as you keep reading the chapters you find little tidbits and you learn more about them and why these four characters get along so well and you know that chemistry allows us the reader to feel at home and enjoy what we're reading and the crazy hijinks they're literally chapters devoted to poop jokes 
but they're done in a way where you don't really mind. It's carefree, it, you're having a good time, and plus you're adding all the element of, you know, it being a survival story with sci-fi set in space. You have intriguing mysteries as to what really happened to Earth, and as you start reading, you learn more and more about it, and it becomes uh, more interesting. And it's not just all lowbrow humor and sort of that brotastic uh, environment, uh, friends described this series to me like, oh, it's uh, imagine like Grand Blue Dreaming mixed in with space and all that stuff. I can see that. But just like Grand Blue Dreaming, there's a wholesomeness in the realness between characters just being themselves and hanging out and uh, I guess enjoying life and uh, even even if there's something bad happening, they look at the positives and they try to solve it. I'm not going to ruin it for you guys but there are moments where they have to choose between a and b and you would think they would go with one of the two choices the obvious one but they surprise the reader by you know subverting expectations and uh making you realize like yeah they might be jock ish in nature but there's a heart to these uh humans and what they're trying to do obviously part of the humor for me is the fact that they're alone and how can you survive in an environment without contact from anybody? We don't really know what happened to Earth. We don't really know if they're really alone. And that mystery only intensifies when you see uh, stuff like the higher being and the probability of other, maybe other probe ships uh, out there in space. So it's really interesting, the ideas and concepts behind a Gravity Boys. I really enjoy it. I think it's a fun-filled... Uh, series with a lot of heart and humor and if you're into that sort of thing I you're gonna have a good time with it in my honest opinion the art I'm gonna say um, it's okay <laughs> it's it's a little middle of the road for me it's nothing I am hugely fond of but I don't dislike it it's just okay it's a fine looking series with good character models I just wish it were a little bit more, I don't know, I guess I, the, the proper word would be a little bit more defined or redefined with the uh, the inking in the series. I'm reading it from the Shonen Jump app on my tablet, and the tablet looks great, but somehow the images that they're using are ver a very light-hearted um, they're not dark enough for me. I don't know. I don't know if it's just a, a thing with the app or, or what, but it could be... Uh, the drawings could be a little darker, in my opinion. So that's sort of my first impressions of uh, Gravity Boys. I've read up to chapter 30-ish, close to uh, being up to date, but I can uh, wholeheartedly recommend it. If you're into that sort of thing, I think you're gonna have a, uh, you're gonna have a good time with it. So... Yeah, go check it out if you can. A Gravity Boys. Speaking of space and wacky hijinks, what are some of your favorite space-themed manga? Let me know in the comments section down below. Really interested in that. And of course, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. Thank you for liking, commenting, and just being a part of A Week in Geek Them. I do content like this where I talk about anime, comics, and manga. So yeah, check it out if you are able to. That's it for me. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I have got to go. I will catch all of you on our next video.